Do you feel? Great. That's <laughs> awesome. It's great. It's uh, exciting to be back in the uh, Super Regionals again. Um, and uh, actually, be one day early, done, so we can sit back and watch everybody else fight it out. So it feels really good right now. Kaylin, take us through the outcome. What were you looking for? What did you get? And how did it feel when you hit it? Well, um, the bat before that, I was kind of, uh, I was sitting change, and she was kind of blowing it right by me, so then I kind of switched it up, and I was like, if she throws uh, fast in again, I'm going to take it, and she did, so, yeah, that was, hit, yeah. Mike, you talked about uh, Sam sit right before Kalen's, and just how important it was to, you know, you had some chances earlier in the game, but how important was it that moment to kind of finally break through and, and get some runs? Yeah, we were having trouble adjusting to the change of pace. Um, she threw more change of paces than I think we've seen in three years here. So, but you know that's what uh, good pitchers do. They keep you off stride, and she did, did a great job of doing that. Um, had us guessing a lot, and uh, Sam unfortunately got a pitch up in the zone a little bit, hit that double off the wall, and um, some good aggressive base running um, allows to score that second run, and that was big. Um, and so you know then. Uh, uh, you know, how we came up and hit that home run um, to give us a little more of a cushion. But uh, really what set it all up was Jess's pitching to start with. Um, you know, she uh, kept them at bay, kept them at bay, and fortunately uh, gave us enough time to find a way to score some runs. But, you know, B BYU's a tough opponent. I mean, they never quit trying. I mean, they're driving in first base. They were trying to get on base any way they could. And uh, great coaching staff. Uh, we, our hats off to our uh, opponent today. BYU's a very good team. Jess, can you talk about being, you've been here before, one step away from the College World Series and, you know, the chances this time around, even though I know you don't know where you're going yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm excited to see what this year has to bring us. Um, I've been saying that for a while. Um, I feel like the team's getting better and better as we go. You know, today or this weekend was a little bit of a lull, but um, I don't think this defines anything about how we're going to do within the next week or hopefully next couple weeks. So um, I feel like this year out of any um, – we're really rolling into it well, and um, I think we're a little more prepared. Uh, we're better just all around as a team, and we have a lot of veterans that have, I guess, you'd like to say, uh, have been there. Um, a few of us have been to Super Regionals a couple times, so, and it's pretty much those are the leaders. So I think we're going to have a little bit of a, a less nervousness and um, kind of more ready to go out there and play and win. Like, that's the thing. We're going to go out there and win. It's not just we're not going to show up, and we're not happy to be there. Like, we deserve to be there, and we deserve to win it. How about doing this on your home field in front of your home fans? <coughs> well, I want to thank the fans for, for coming out and supporting us. It makes a huge difference um, to really get behind us. And I know they were clapping when Jess had two strikes on hitters and, and getting into it. And that really helps pump you up a little bit as long as you're able to manage the moment, um, which Jess, Jess does a pretty good job of doing that. She doesn't get too uh, excited, overexcited about those sorts of things. But that energy, we can feel that in the dugout. And that's, that's huge for us to be at home and uh, use that as a as kind of like an 11th player, if you will. Um, so we, we were very excited to have a home field. Jess, did you come in with a different mindset today, knowing that you were one win away from from closing out the series? Um, not really. It was just, you know, it was just another game. And today, um, I wanted to be my best. Um, you know, I didn't throw nearly as good as I have been or could the past couple of days. So that was my mindset today, coming out and giving the team the best effort that I could give and keep them in the game. Like, it was a close game for a while. and. Um, I just wanted to make sure I went inning by inning and not lose that focus where I did the couple past days where I had that one inning where I would walk a few or whatever had happened. And so I just wanted to take it inning by inning because that's what it was going to do for us, to, or that was going to, that's what it would take for us to win that game. Do you enjoy it more when you're in those pitcher's duels? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's actually, um, I enjoy the challenge. I like going up against somebody, so I like seeing all the zeros up there because you know, I want to keep those zeros going, and um, I'm ready to see us put some numbers up on the board, so. I don't like those jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think something might have kick-started this team after your series lost to Missouri? Because I remember the last time talking to you, you were pretty upset about that. Both you, I mean, the team was really upset about how you guys finished that one out. Do you feel like that kick-started something with you guys? Over that. Well, I thought we didn't defend our home turf very well. We didn't give our best effort. And, you know, we understand that, uh, you know, it's a tough game and sometimes you don't control what the opponent does, but we can control what we do. And we didn't do a very good job of bringing our best game out to the field. And uh, we want to do that. When, and it's like I told the ladies today for the game, this is we're going to make sure we go to tomorrow and we look in the mirror, no matter what happened, we have no regrets. 
And uh, I think that's very important. I think everybody gave their best effort today. We had it on the, the people that didn't play, and that's just as supportive for us. We have a very small bench. We only have 15 players, you know, with all the four injuries we've had this year. Uh, so all the support we get, even from the fans and our own teammates, it's huge for us right now. Big Auburn fan right now? Uh, Auburn or Northwest and one of the two, so uh, yeah, so uh, it'd be nice to have another series at home. Anything else? Great, thanks guys. Thank you. Okay. Okay.